Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another episode of What's for Dinner. Tonight we're going to be making Florentine flounder roll-ups and Monterey Jack Mornay sauce. And that's what we're going to have. We're going to have a little angel hair pasta on the side and some steamed veggies. So let's get started. This is really easy. I have eight flounder fillets and this can be any white fish of your choice. Okay, I have a baking dish waiting off to the side and I also have um, the oven preheated to 350. So, oh, I'm sorry, honey, I need to get a fork. And a spoon. Let's see, spoon, fork, okay. Now, I have about a cup and a half of breadcrumb here because I really don't know how much I'm gonna need. And some melted butter, and that was about a half a stick, and I'm just going to kind of coat this breadcrumb with the butter. We may or may not use all this breadcrumb. I'm not quite sure yet, but, just get it in there and get it well incorporated. You don't want lumps. You want it. You want to know that that butter is kind of hanging out in there, and everybody is joining the breadcrumb and butter party. Who would be left out? Nobody. Nobody should ever be left out. Okay, I'm gonna at this point just add a sprinkling. Of garlic powder, so about a half a teaspoon, whatever's your preference. This is to taste. And this is a busy Monday night, and I'm just kind of throwing this together. It sounded good. We haven't had fish in a while, and I've been wanting some. And there's about a half a teaspoon there of onion powder. And I am going to add some additional parsley flakes to the breadcrumb. I know that I use seasoned breadcrumb most of the time, and that's what this is, but um, I'm going to just throw in a little more parsley. Now, Florentine, whenever you see Florentine, that means there's spinach in the dish. I have some baby spinach that I got off of the produce markdown rack yesterday. And I'm just going to lay some spinach right here on top of that fish fillet. And I'm going to sprinkle some of these breadcrumbs on top. I really, trust me, I know how this looks, but it's going to be delicious. I promise. And then I'm going to get some Parmesan cheese and then put that in there too. Okay? Now you're going to start at the thick end and you're going to roll the best you can. It's going to want to, um, all that filling is going to want to move down. And that's okay, just go with it. Okay? Now that's what it's going to look like. You don't need to put toothpicks in here. We're just going to lay it in the baking dish just like that okay just like that we're going to go ahead I'm gonna go ahead I'll roll one more for you so you can see it's gonna be messy so don't freak out if you're if you're not like messy messy person like I am um, this is something you have to work through <laughs> I'm sorry all right so a few baby spinach leaves some of the breadcrumb and the reason we're putting the breadcrumb in here is because when that spinach starts to wilt it's going to render quite a bit of fluid and you're going to want that breadcrumb to kind of take that up okay we're going to start at the wide end and kind of roll it firmly and pinch it on to itself just like that and then you're going to move it to your baking dish just like that I'm going to go and I'm gonna finish rolling these and then I'll show you what they look like before they go in the oven. And then it'll be time to construct our sauce. All right, we're just about ready to put this in the oven. What I did, I changed my mind, because you can see that. Because I took the fish out of the casserole dish and I put spinach underneath the, cast underneath the fish. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little bit of organic chicken broth. And then that's gonna go ahead and Kind of distribute in there as it's baking and it's going to steam the spinach it's going to help to steam the fish and everybody's going to be happy now i have these little bit of breadcrumb here and i have dotted a little bit of butter on top of each roll up and now i'm just going to sprinkle some of these buttered breadcrumbs on top and this way I don't have to make a different vegetable. We can just have the spinach, which goes with the, what's inside anyway. And I can use up this 
I got a couple of these bags of baby spinach off of that clearance rack yesterday for a dollar a piece. And that is a good budget vegetable to have on the side. So I have my oven preheated, 350 degrees. In it goes. We're going to check that in about 20 minutes, make sure it's finished. All right, our fish is ready. I actually turned the oven up about 10 minutes ago. Look at how gorgeous that is. Made some angel hair pasta, a little butter and herbs, and this more beautiful Monterey Jack Mornay sauce. And let's fix you a plate, because this is going to be fantastic. I'm actually going to use a pasta bowl. Oops. Forgot about those. All right, I'm going to grab a tongs here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to get some of this lovely spinach in the bottom here. Let's see. There we go. Just like that. A little bit of pasta. Just like so. And some of this lovely Mornay sauce. There we go. That is delicious. Lounder Florentine with spinach and Monterey Jack Mornay sauce. I hope you try this and I hope you love it. I hope you try it, I hope you love it, and until next time, I'll see ya!